yeah, it was really nice. I had a nice break. Didn't think about what I was eating too much. Went to Belgium, had a bit of chicken and chips, had a few too many waffles, but that's why you get back into training. Been working hard with my team with Mark Tibbs and Sonny Cannon and Jimmy Tibbs, and we, we're ready to rock and roll now. We're in a good place to start camp. Well, a big part of the strength and conditioning program isn't just about being big and strong. It's about injury prevention. It's about making sure you're equipped for the camp that's ahead of you, with your sparring and all the hard training you do. And one thing my strength and conditioner says, Sonny Cannon, he says big, uh, small hinges move big doors. So all them little things we're doing, all the little muscles and little tendons, all the balances and, and your core work, that's what allows you to be explosive and that allows you to get a good performance on the night. Very good. I'll pay money for this. Yeah, so it's a term known as post potentiation activation. So we're trying to get him to use as much force as he can through his pods and then we're changing it into an explosive movement. So heavy work on the pods for a short period and then into an explosive movement. Um, it's a part of rate of foot's development that will just help sharpen him up and uh, get his body to a high impact and working at a high rate. I've had people since since my last fight, the week after my last fight, at the back end of October, when's the next one, when's the next one? Whether that be Liverpool, whether that be Manchester, down south, people from Ireland, all over. People want to come and watch and they'll come and support me wherever I go. We saw that in Sheffield, we brought a thousand people there and we'll do the same in Liverpool. So Eddie, let me sell my tickets. But... It's always the start of the exercise. And you think, out of fuss, I'm going to get it done. But somehow, you always get it back. If you believe you can do it, most of the time you can. If I look at it like this, if someone was chasing me down the street and I had to run away, I'd probably get away. Whereas it's up to your brain most of the time, so it's about not being lazy in your mind. Since just before Christmas, I've been starting to tick over again because I do like to, it's nice to have a few weeks off, but after three or four weeks, you think, right, I'm an athlete, I'm a boxer, I need to get back in that gym and I always want to be training. It's nice to have a rest, but it gives me sanity, it gives me something to work towards. A lot of boxers say that, it gives you routine and like anyone, we need routine to function properly. An ideal 2023 is just to keep winning. Wherever it is, wherever I fight, keep progressing, more rounds, more opponents, whoever they are, match room and my managers, I trust them to guide me. I've got a great team, all I've got to do is keep knocking them down when they put them in front of me.